We've talked about it endlessly. Adjustments in the playoffs, very critical. One adjustment the Bucks have nothing to do with may help them in game three. They hope it does, simply coming home to the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Yeah, I think we saw that throughout the season. Um, when we played them here, there was a lot of Bulls fans. But for us, it's, uh, you know, we would love to have our fans here at home. Uh, but for us to execute our game plan, uh, come with the same energy and effort that we came in game two, understanding that we got to, you know, minimize the mental mistakes and uh, put us uh, in a position to win. Yeah, well, it's always good, you know, to, to be able to, uh, you know, definitely sleep in your own bed, you know. Get a home cooked meal, and then uh, you know, come to your home arena, where uh, you know your fans are excited, you know, for you to go out there and make plays and play hard. You know, I think we just got to go in focused and ready to go. You know, we'll have some fans there as well, so um, you know that won't be an issue. And uh, you know, I think it'll it'll be a good game. It's going to be a tough game, and uh, we got to come focused and ready because you know it's it's not essentially a must win, but you know it's a game we need to get um, yeah. to make this a series. To yeah, to make this a series. Game three will be intriguing. A lot of people wonder what the makeup of the crowd will be in Milwaukee on Thursday night. And of course, there was that chippiness that may carry over from game two. Keem Noah makes it a two-point game. And a whistle as Brooks hits the deck. And he and Henson Ooh. come together. Noah gets involved. Yeah, I mean, I think it was physical. I mean, you know, I, for, for me, um, you know, the, with, with Brooks, uh, yeah. you know, Going back four or five games, he shot me a little, you know, a couple of elbows, a couple of cheap shots, and okay. you know, it kind of built up to that moment right there. So, you know, that wasn't just a one-time thing. So, you know, that, yeah, up. it was building up, but it, and it happens. But you know, it's part of the game, um, you know, and um, so uh, just got to move on from that. Is, and is that why you were a little upset? Yeah, it's a little, yeah, yeah. you know, because I, I just kind of see him setting up to kind of, you know, stop me when I was running. So, uh, you know, I had to kind of follow through, and uh, you know, no, no harm done, man. You know, he he, he was fine, I was fine, and moved on. Got fined, you know. Got got a tech, and that's that's part of the game. You know, that's a playoff game, and uh, you know, John and Brooks had a, you know, had a little uh, whatever you want to call it right there, and you know, I just got to have, have have my teammates back. You know, I thought I seen a, a Jimmy kind of running up on him uh, with that him looking, and I uh, you know we're in it all together. You know, we lose together, we win together. You know, we're gonna fight together. You know, however however it needs to be, but uh, it happens sometimes. You know, you don't mean anything. Uh, too bad by it, but at the end of the day, we're not going back down. Yeah, you know, we've seen those guys like 12 times this whole season, so, you know, we we're just tired of seeing each other right there. So I think they kind of built up tension, kind of kind of all went out of the game, too, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get back to basketball this next game, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be fine. Our television coverage on Fox Sports Wisconsin continues on Thursday night, a one-hour pregame show, Bucks Live at 6 o'clock, the game at 7. We hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching Bucks.com TV.